It's better to let someone think you're an idiot than open your mouth and prove it. No hard feelings, though. We're here. We're here. <laughs> oh, my God. Who gave us a microphone? This <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. So today is our what's today Tuesday? Today's Tuesday. So this, Tuesday. Will be, this will be our Wednesday vlog or our Wednesday podcast with yep. our special guest, my cousin Bobby Antonacci. What up? <laughs> what up? Here in quarantine land, we're social distancing. Everybody's in their respective home. Yeah. All right. So, so we're just, we're chilling though. Bored as shit. Exactly. So, um, so Bobby, why don't you tell us a little about yourself, um, you know, what you do, things like that. Well, just let's clarify it for the viewers, okay? <laughs> yes, Jordan is my cousin, okay? Yes. That, can I, I, I can't <laughs> that can happen. <laughs> that can happen. That can happen. That can happen, okay? If you're not understanding what he's talking about, he's talking about the skin color, because a lot of people have said that is impossible. Like, people were like, we're cousins, and they're like, what? Well, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Oh, yeah. no. yeah. you have literally said to us, no, you're not cousins. So, really? yes, we are. Okay. <laughs> his mother is my aunt. Um, his father, well, <laughs> well, he's David Blaine. Yeah. He's, he's, he's around, I guess. Yeah. We don't know. We but, don't know. Yeah. So, so JB's on my dad's side of the family. Um, that side of the family is the Italian side. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we're the loudest people on the planet. I mean, you are, you hear the Antonacci's before you see us. Yep. Okay. Especially my grandmother, because she's about four, nine in heels. <laughs> um, you know, so we, we got a crazy family going on. Our uncle is, I don't even know how to describe uncle Mike. He's just, he's the man though. We love uncle Mike. But he, he's, he's the man. A, I don't really know how to he, describe him. He is, he is the definition of an uncle. Yes. Like the definition of an uncle. <laughs> yes. he, he is an uncle. Um, but me, I, I'm the actually the oldest grandchild. So it's myself and then JB and then my sister. Those are the grandchildren on that side of the family. Okay. Um, I'm 22 years that. old. I just graduated from college. I went to CAS. We actually played these guys last year. Um, mm-hmm. I pitched them. I didn't. So I didn't, we'll, we'll get into this a little bit later. I, I didn't get to. Don't even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that later in the show. But I, we played against these guys last year on my senior day. It was a lot of fun. Um, but now I'm in the real world, man, and just grinding away. Even with this, you know, shutdown, it's still been busy, especially with what I do. Uh, the phone has been ringing off the hook nonstop today and the past few days. You know, because people are they want they need some information, and it's just it's a crazy situation. But you know, still living at home. Um, you know, just kind of going through life, man, just saving money, hopefully moving out here soon. I got to get a new car. That's on the bucket list. I have no power steering in my car. <laughs> so, no, there, there's my aunt. No. <laughs> What's up? Yo. We can't hear her. Can you see me? Oh, yeah, there you Yeah, are. you can't. You can't. I got the <laughs> <laughs> yep. We were just talking about our family. We were just talking about the family. Crazy. <laughs> That's you. That's you. Thank you. There it is. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. So, I mean, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, nothing too crazy. Like I said, I played baseball at Kaz um, for the last three years. That was that was fun. I know you guys are still in, in school. You know, yep. it definitely, it's a lot. Don't get me wrong, but don't. Don't waste this time, you know, as much as it probably sucks to, you know, I, I know you, you guys kind of got off to a rough start, right, this year? No, we did good. We did good this did year. You? Better than yeah, this year was, this year was like the year that we thought we were definitely going to turn it around. Yeah. yeah. Sucks. Well, my yeah. team was never very good. We, I think we won like 18 games my three years there out of like 78, something like that. Oh my. So, God. yeah, it was, it was a tough stretch. I got hurt. You know, my senior year, I was banged up a little bit, but you know, you just gotta enjoy it because you know, answering the phone and talking about finance is great, but there's nothing like being a college kid and just yeah, definitely. sitting around doing nothing. Well, one of the things I realized, like being home and not being with anybody, is like 
like, damn, right. life was fun when I was at college. Like, I oh, had fun every day. You know what I mean? And now we're just sitting here doing nothing. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> I know we kind of got an itinerary to talk about, but, like, dude, I got some stories about school, man. We had talk about oh, having fun. No. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Dude, I, don't, I don't even know where to begin. I guess, um, you know, I'll try to keep it as as clean as possible. We are going on the internet and, you know, I don't need any, <laughs> any crazy stories getting out there about me. But <laughs> um, basically, oh, my last two years at school, I, I had a house, okay? And I lived with my best friend that I grew up with. So we had an absolute ball, and <laughs> JB showed up a few times. <laughs> we don't talk about those. We don't talk about those. Don't JB about definitely those. appeared at the house a few times. We were I actually mean, the only. We were the only one at Kaz, really. So we had a lot of parties, and <laughs> man, and we had. I made a few I, special appearances, just a few. He JB showed up. Um, not not necessarily last year because he was at Hilbert, but when he was in high school, you would know the the, recru the the recruiting visit was. He was a recruit <laughs> about like every other week. It seemed like. Yeah, yeah seriously. Oh, yeah, we got this recruit coming in. Yeah. 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 So yeah. at one point he was a recruit, and then he's like, oh, "I'm gonna go to Hilbert." Yeah. Oh, well, thanks, JB. You know, real, <laughs> real nice of you, my guy. Having all this fun, you know, probably would have helped our team and. Nope. <laughs> Dude, honestly, but the thing is, if I would have lived with you and Bianchi, I don't think I would have made it to spring. <laughs> oh my god, it would have been bad. I can't believe nobody got arrested. To be honest, I, I really can't. I don't like, know. We, we had, you know, we had fun. Don't get me wrong, but there was definitely some some dumb things that happened. You know, people at college, man, it's yeah. just yeah, people are stupid. So, um, yeah, we we had fun though. We had a lot of fun. So yeah. we were we were looking in looking to get in a house um last year but it's it was a lot of work and like we we had a house lined up and like we went on a tour and everything and the guy was like yeah like i just gotta talk to my wife and then we got a call and he's like yeah my wife said no shot <laughs> so yeah we definitely get a bad rap as college kids and i, I wonder why yeah we, we had, had a we sign had holes up. in the ceiling uh we had people on the roof at one point yeah <laughs> sure. uh, sure. The side of the house and the on the back side was the left field fence for, for wiffle ball. Yeah, we had a wiffle ball league though. Yeah, that's we had a, that was actually that was something fun. really cool. We, we played awesome. we played that. We were just uh uh what's his name? Was hitting bombs off the side of the house. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we, we had we had some fun. Um but now I'm old, man. Now I'm working in finance and Yep. You know, I get to sit behind a desk and talk about making money all day, which is great. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah, there was nothing like being just a college kid and just being a jackass. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know that's I mean? scary, man, graduating and having to have responsibilities, real responsibilities anyway. No, yeah, it's definitely, uh, you know, it's it's an adjustment. But I uh, I ran a tax business throughout my last few years of college. So that's how I put oh. myself through school was doing tax returns. And then now I actually work down at AXA in, um, in Syracuse. So mm -hmm. I do financial advising and planning, and then I do taxes as well. Oh, that's so, awesome. Yeah, I, de I definitely got a lot going on, which is good to stay busy, you know, in times yeah. like this. But yeah, sometimes, especially now, it's, you just, you can't really find a time to breathe. It's just go, oh. go, go. Yeah. You know, yeah. slide that definitely could pile up for sure. I could see that piling up. Yeah, but and my cousin over here, he wants to get into the business too. This kid over here being an accountant, how about that? <laughs> yes, man, money's always going to be a thing. Why not get into it? Yep, I'm an accounting major too. Oh, are you really? Okay, yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a good field to get into, man. I mean, there's you're never not going to be without work, especially if you're right. you know one of the competent ones. Yep. You know, like stuff you're probably doing now. You ain't gonna be doing it if you're good. Yeah. You know, all the credits and the debits and the nonsense. I got computer software for that. Yeah. That's a, that's what I've heard from a couple of different people. Yeah. Yeah. Don't it's definitely a good field to get into. And I mean, look at now. I mean, I'm getting so many calls about this stimulus package. We're actually hosting a webinar, you know, subtle flex right there and uh, input for the for my my business. Yeah. The link will be in the description. 
uh, on Friday to talk about the uh, the stimulus package that's coming out because a lot of people don't know what's going on, you know? No, that's great. Yeah. So. Definitely send us over the link and I'll throw it in the description. Hell yeah. Any, anything we can do for people, um, that'll be Friday at 1130. So you just log on kind of like this and we'll just be on the phone and we talk about, you know, what's going to go on with the stimulus package for, uh, for the various different groups of people, business owners, uh, individuals, stuff like that. So oh. be a good event. Oh yeah, definitely. That's awesome. Be a good event. So, but so with all that money that you earn, the casino, <laughs> <laughs> um, I knew this was gonna come up. <laughs> yeah. People, people, people seem to always ask me, you know, what 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 goes on at the casino? What what do you play at the casino? How do you play it? What what's your input on the casino? Because people ask me all the time, bro. I'm not the only person that goes to the casino. People act like I'm the only one that goes there. <laughs> I mean, everybody else needs to hear another voice. On what so, you know, if you know anything about our family, we're just. I got. I think putting it mildly <laughs> is degenerate gamblers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think that's a mild description of what we are. Um, I, I, when I was in school and it was Thanksgiving, I actually went to the casino over Thanksgiving break, eight out of the 10 days we were on break. <laughs> so yeah, we, uh, and my friends are the worst too. We actually set up an underground casino, a dice table. So we throw dice Damn. in this kid's basement and play craps. That's so awesome. We're just, yeah, it, it's bad. But, you know, the thing with the casino is, you know, I didn't really drink in college at all. Um, now I do a little bit more just on the weekends, really. So the thing with the casino, you get to go there, you get to have fun. And as long as you're not bringing more than you can lose, it's not that bad. I mean, it's, yeah. it's definitely a good source of entertainment. I only go on Saturdays really now just because I am working throughout the week. And it's I just don't have time to get out there and play, you know, dice for – three, four hours like I would on a Saturday. Yeah. So I, I use it more as my weekend entertainment and it can get expensive, but before the world decided to just shut down, I made like 1500 bucks in, in, you know, a week. Yeah. So it can, it can come and it can go, but it's, it's just fun. fun. I mean, when you're, when you're at a dice table and you got all your boys and, and it's hot and you're making money and the people are high fiving and cheering, um, there's nothing like it. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing. Yeah, so, I have no experience with casinos really, except for the one time I went. So I have really I assume no experience. You dragged you there, correct? <laughs> uh, yeah. When you when you came to Syracuse, right? I think it was. Yep. Yeah. yeah. But dude, I'm telling you, bro. Like people, people like really don't like the casino because they're like, oh, all I do is lose. Well, yeah, because you walk in with forty bucks and you go to thirty different penny machines, slot machines. Yeah. And click it three times, and if you don't hit the jackpot, you're pissed. Yes. Like, grab 200 bucks, go to the dice table, throw five on the pass line, and run it up from there for a couple hours and walk away with a couple stacks. Like, it doesn't just, <laughs> it's not like you just walk in and just, it's not like that every time. But, no, it's definitely, I mean, there's a reason those play, like, I went to Vegas this summer too. Mm -hmm. Guys, oh. when you turn 21, oh, all right, I know we're going. We're going this winter. I know we're going, but Jared, when you get when you turn twenty one, man, you gotta get out there. It's oh, yes, just, definitely. It's it's that would, that unbelievable would be. experience. Um, I only I thank God I only went for three days because I'd probably be bankrupt <laughs> if I did. <laughs> but where where's he going? I don't know. Unannounced. Yes, look at him. Look at him. Okay, speak because I watched the last episode. Did he not look like Chance the Rapper in that last <laughs> episode? Who? Who? You, you look like Chance the Rapper in the last episode of the show. Me? Yeah. A little bit. Oh, he did. Bad. It was just <laughs> Bro, everybody says that. Everybody says that. Yeah. I'm watching it because I wanted to see what you guys were doing. Your dad was great. That was actually, what is that? <laughs> Shout out Red Bull. Shout out Red Bull. Boy. Red Bull. Sponsor us. 7 o'clock at night and he's drinking a Red Bull. Unbelievable. But yeah, I wanted to see the show, you know, because I, I knew I was coming on this week. I'm like, all right, let's see what these guys are about. And your dad did great. That was really cool. You know, it was nice, pretty yeah. interesting what you're talking about. 
But yeah, he looked like Chance. It was unbelievable. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, he had the Chance hat on, didn't he? He no. didn't have the Chance hat on, but his face, like the, like he looked like Chance. It was so funny. <laughs> it was so funny. But so back to this. back to the gambling. I mean, yeah, getting out to Vegas is incredible. If you can, yeah. if you guys get out there. I know we're going in December for his birthday. You know, I don't know when you when you turn twenty one. Uh, July. Okay, so, so you got. I mean, you got to rip it out there. Just, <laughs> you got to rip it. Just, August, August. You got to rip it. Out. Just go, just go. It, it is an incredible experience. But yeah. you know, for anybody that doesn't know what what game I play, I throw dice, which is craps. Okay, now. Craps is, is a unique game because a lot of people don't know what exactly is going on on the dice table. Uh, there's a lot of different bets, and it's very confusing when you first walk up. So it's just it's a game that's a very social game. I mean, if you guys couldn't tell, I'm, I can talk to almost anybody or anything. Mm-hmm. So I like being at the table and talking and, and having a good time because a lot of like the games, like our, my aunt plays um, slots. So his mom, she's a slot player. And, you know, that's great. Like, that's her thing. But I just would never want to really do that for a long period of time, sitting there hitting a button, you know, and it's just – that's not fun. So throwing dice, you know, yeah. having people around me. I, I, I don't know how she does that. I mean, it's just – She wins the most fuck out of all of us. That's why she does it. Yeah, she, wins some, she wins more money than all of us. That's the only yeah. reason why she does it. Yeah, well, <laughs> she wins, but then they get it back. Yeah, and then <laughs> yeah, they always get it back. But um, yeah, yeah, crafts is just a fun game to play. I, I mean, I encourage anybody who hasn't really tried the game to at least you know go pay attention to it and see if you can pick it up. Yeah, I, I started playing. Let's see, I started playing three years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think three years ago, and I haven't played any other game since. Wow. I only go to the casino to throw dice. So. Oh. Yeah, I started. Yeah, I first, I first played craps, the like as soon as I turned eighteen. So, I played craps the literally the day because I slept. I spent the night that night. It was a Sunday to a Monday, and me and me, my mom, Nick Antonello, and his mom, we spent the night at the Turning Stone, and I went down at like literally like twelve thirty, went to an empty craps table. Was like, can you guys teach me how to play? The dealers were like, yeah, there was no one there. It was five bucks minimum. Had a couple hundred, so I played around. I ended up winning like twelve hundred bucks. I didn't leave till like nine a.m. <laughs> like, but like it was funny because, because like, I mean, I can say it now that I now that I'm okay. But I used to gamble at the Turning Stone before you were before I was eighteen. One of the dealers was like, "Oh, can I see your card?" So he scanned the card. He's like, "Oh, your birthday is today," and I'm like, "Yeah." And he goes. Wait, but I've seen you here before. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, like, what are you gonna do now? Like, are you gonna yeah, get- my mom's a degenerate." <laughs> yeah, like, sorry, I've been I've been hitting fucking straight flushes since I was sixteen. He, I remember, I remember our grandfather. Um, it was his birthday. It's, our, our grandpa's birthday is like two weeks before JB's, so we're there. Uh, did we stay that night? I think we did. Yeah. We did. Yeah, we did. We stayed or we did something. And JB, he mistakenly put, was it, it was a $25 oh, on Red 7? Yes. It was a $25 chip on Red 7. Yeah. I meant so to put, like, I, I meant to put a $5 chip. Yeah. A $25 chip. It starts spinning. And I'm like, oh He's my God. He's playing electronic, mind you. So it's pretty easy yeah. to mess up the chips. Yeah. He puts 25 on Red 7. And he's just like, Shh. and then they go, no bets. He goes, shit, I didn't want to do that. God damn it, I'm going to lose. Ball's going around. JB's just like not even watching. He turns around, and it just smacks Red 7. Bang. 900 bucks. <laughs> dollars $900, Yeah. So we're, like, we're standing there, and he's 17 at the time. Yeah. So he's not supposed to be there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> We we had the most low key celebration because it was like one morning, so nobody was there. He just won almost a grand, and we're just like, job, we're like, dude. we're like, yo, good shit. We're like, just piss <laughs> him. just like I won like ten. That's it. Yeah. It's like if you go nuts and you're like, let's fucking go. Like people, like like the people walking around, will be like, oh, what'd you hit? And then they'll be like, oh, like how old are you? And then you yeah. get caught. Then you don't get the money, and then it's like, bro, what? Yeah. <laughs> but no but like actually i got so this is like the third time i went to the casino i was 16 about to be 17 
and my boys were all playing. They just turned eighteen. They were all going. They just played. They were playing a uh, fruit wheel. That's where that's fruit wheel was the game you went to if you were underage. Yep. <laughs> they, they didn't care. Like if you went there, that's like okay, you're gonna lose anyways because this game's impossible to win. Then we're just gonna take your money. So they didn't say anything. It was like fifteen year olds there. Swear to God. So yes. you go there and you're throwing money up. And I had like 25 on plum and I hit it and it was like 350 bucks. And I was like, let's go. And I got it. And like the security guard behind me was like, can I see your ID? And I was like, oh, I didn't drive. Like I didn't bring it. And he's like, oh, well, then you got to go. And I was like, well, what about my money? And he's like, well, you can't cash it in. So you're not taking it. I go, no, I'll take it. And I'll have someone else cash it in for me. He goes, okay, go ahead. So, like, <laughs> so he's, like, he's like, I don't care. Like, but that's your problem. But like. Yeah. At least you let me. At least you let me take the money. I would have been tight. Three hundred fifty bucks, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that that would have sucked. Oh, sucked. for sure, for sure. Yeah. What are you gonna do? And we got Jared over here. We gotta get him going, JB. I yeah. know. I don't have any any crazy casino stories. Jared, Jared, I have a feeling is gonna be like a blackjack type of guy. Why is that? I, can see it. I don't know. Like blackjack, maybe like a. Three, four card poker, dude. I don't know about that. That's pretty difficult, but nope, I can see you smart. playing blackjack. I really could. He's smart. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how to play any of those. So I'll have, yeah. I'll have to learn. I'll have to teach me. You're on the right phone call, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, dude. you funny. are on the right Skype call. But no, Bobby, you definitely, <laughs> you, definitely you, have, you definitely got to tell me when you guys are throwing dice again because I need to come down to tell. My like, I've been, I've been stretching, and. I haven't been able to use it, so like I need it sometimes. <laughs> whenever, whenever you guys are throwing dice. We were. Okay. It was last year, Jordan, and like the, there were some kids on the third floor of Trinity playing oh. playing dice. Yeah. And they were like, you were like, oh, like you're playing dice, and they were like, they weren't talking shit to you, but they were like, oh, like what do you know about dice? And, and you were like, like, let's run it. Like, yeah, and you yeah, started throwing no, like twenty. They were, yeah. They were, yeah, they were like, uh, so I had this was like. Mm, this had to be like the fifth, sixth week of school. And yeah. we were doing like icebreakers still with like all the people, like their RAs were doing them on the floor. Yeah. So these Keith and Vaughn, was it, what are their names? They played basketball. These two black kids, they played dice with three dice. So if you get four, five, six, automatic win, one, two, three, automatic loss, trips, doubles, you know, all that stuff. Oh, that's a drinking game. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. but like they, they play like how they do on the corner and on the streets and stuff. So we were like, okay, so we're going to play. So they were, they're from Cleveland. So they were outside playing in the main lobby. So I come out like of my room going to D-Hall and I'm like, oh, y'all playing dice. And they're like, yeah. And they're like, what you know about dice? And I was like, what? <laughs> and they were like, they were like, they were like, you can't, they were like, you can't run with us. I dude, I took out my wallet. I said that. I pulled out a couple. I pulled out a couple hundred bucks and said, "Let's go right now." Ran their shit, <laughs> bro. I ran their shit for like sixty bucks for like the first three rolls. Then I ended up losing down. I lost like eighty bucks. I'm like, dude, I'm done. They're whooping my shit. So I said, "All right, I'm good." So I left. They came back the next day. I got all my money back and I took theirs and then I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I profited. I dude, I profited like one twenty and I was like, "All right, I'm chilling." Yeah, no that that's funny. that's something. That's it's something. Fun. It's funny. Yeah, I'll, I will say Jared definitely looks like a blackjack dude. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you look like a dude that's just gonna go there. You're gonna you're gonna just play, uh-huh. you know, one of those really smart people and just and just go. Uh-huh. Well, I'll so, take that as a compliment then. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, any any game there as long as you're having fun. That's that's the goal. If you're not having yeah. fun, like when I was. You know, your guys' age, I didn't have, a, like, a real job or anything going on. Like, my friends would call me every other day, like, when are we going? It's like, no, I don't want to go every day. And then we <laughs> end up going anyways, and it felt like a job, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I feel it. I feel you you got it. You got to stay having fun with it. That's why I'm only going on the weekends now. And there's more people. It's more excitement. Um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, de- definitely a, a fun time when the Antonacci's – or at the casino. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So cool. let's see. What it okay, the craziest thing that I've seen there. Now on on the t- on the tables, especially the dice table, there's a table max of a thousand bucks. Okay. Uh-huh. So I'm rolling. I I don't know why we were there. We 
we don't need a reason to be. We were there. So I, I get the dice. I'm on a fucking heater. Like, I, I'm <laughs> killing it. I'm, I'm killing it. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm killing it. But this dude next to me is a, is a high roller. He bought in with like, like 10 grand, something crazy. Um, he started, I think he started at like 90 bucks. Mm -hmm. 90, okay. So if anybody, yeah. if anybody can't figure out dice combinations, it's one to 12. Okay. Yeah. Seven's the most common. So six and eight are the next most common. So he's on the eight. Now right? he's on other stuff, but the eight is really what I wanted to talk about. I am killing the eight, killing it. I think I hit it probably 10, 12 times, something stupid. <laughs> he goes 15 for one, which normally is a, is $15 for a dollar chip because you win 14 on a, on, a, on a $12 bet. This yeah. dude's 15 for one was 1500 for $100. <laughs> Jesus it Christ. It was stupid. It was absolutely stupid. And I didn't get tipped for it at all. I was so pissed. Yeah, that's that's Easy. that's that's crazy that you didn't get tipped. I remember one time I oh, dude, I don't remember who it was. I don't know. If they if they watch this, they can text me and remind me who it was and I'll <laughs> I'll say it in the next video. But I was with someone and we were running dice table. They were killing it killing the numbers we were just rolling rolling one and i think they had about six or seven numbers in a row and last number or the, the buttons off so he rolls the dice and he gets four hasn't really hit four all game you know four is four is tough you only got mm -hmm. three and two and two the guy old guy at the end of the table swear to god old is probably 80 years old you know he's been through everything he's got bread stacked down there <laughs> he takes three, he takes three blacks. Those hard eight, hard four, hard four. Oh my god! Kid rolls it about five or six times. You know, hasn't hit seven. Hasn't. He's just hitting like six, eight, nine, this and that. Guy says, press hard, press hard four hundred. He's got four hundred <laughs> on it. Rolls it a couple more times, but he rolled it about twelve times already. So he goes, ah, max, max it, maxed it. Next roll, hard four. Bro, it's it's nine to one. And you have five hundred. That's forty five hundred dollars. Just yeah. on just on the four, not even what he had on the pass line. Yeah. He, he just made almost two and a half, three weeks salary in one spin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, for some people. Yeah. Yeah. That's nuts, dude. It's I'm nuts. Like casino. And it's closed. Yeah. <laughs> we can't go. Yeah, so, kind of switching gears, Bobby. What do you think about the NFL like for next year? What do you think it's going to look like? Because I know there's been a bunch. Of a bunch well, of we we got to get there first. Yeah, uh, you, the world has to right itself because I don't think they're going to let these guys, um, you know, play if they can't get in training camp. They can't do anything. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's like like baseball's done. There's I don't think there's going to be a baseball season this year. Um, hockey's probably over too. Yeah, same I with the NBA and you know, it, ju it just sucks. But as far as football goes, there is a chance, right? I mean, there, there's a chance that we could have, you know, college football, NFL football this year. Um, as far as the dynamics go, man, who knows? I mean, we had so many off season changes. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. You know, you got Deandre Hopkins leaving Houston, Going out to, um, you know, the Cardinals, like that's nuts for literally a bag of cookies. Like they <laughs> traded nobody for him. So yeah. I don't know what's going on in that organization because Deshaun Watson is a baller. The guy can yeah. play. Yeah. Okay. That guy can play. Um, you know, you got Tom Brady in, in Tampa Bay now. Crazy. I mean, that's just, that's and nuts. Put, and put Tom Brady, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. And if Antonio Brown goes to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I saw Antonio's not going. I did see that somewhere. But but is it like like is that is that confirmed or is it just talk? Like because Antonio Brown said he's only gonna play if he's with Tom Brady. And Buccaneers, bro, they got they they they're booty, bro. They need it. Like they James, stink. James Winston, very Ass. talented. He's very talented. Just throws it to the other team way too much, <laughs> bro. He had 
Listen, listen. You were if I, if, was he not? if I, no, it was, yeah, no, it was thirty. Yeah, thirty-one. If I came up to you and said, "Yo, our my quarterback just threw thirty-one touchdowns," you're gonna be like, "Oh wow, that's really good." Yeah, but he had thirty-one yeah. picks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, definitely. Uh, this lamp is really bothering me in that picture. <laughs> that was that was bothering me for like ten minutes. That's no, funny. I mean, he's unsigned. Then you got Cam Newton, who's also a free agent. I Ooh. mean, Philip Rivers to to Indianapolis. I mean, there there's just been a lot of moves going. I mean, who knows what's going to happen in New England now? Wow. Um, the Jared, Bills are making moves for some Jared, reason. Jared, who did the Bills get? Who did the Bills get? Jared's a Bills fan. Diggs, baby. <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, I'm a huge. I'm. I live in Buffalo. I'm a huge Bills fan. Um, I I absolutely despise that franchise. Only because he had to work the games too. Because he had to work the games too. Yep. Oh, <laughs> got you. Yeah, that's ass. That's ass. Dude, it was puked, awful. He puked. On the oh, place. my God. <laughs> he was Yo, at, you're going to bring this up on yeah. national TV? He, he was at Cuca. <laughs> he was at Cuca driving to work the Bills game at 6 a.m., and they oh. fed him, like, some nasty turkey. He's puking on the way to the Bills stadium. I'm oh at a show. God. I'm at a baseball showcase at UB. So my mom goes and picks Bobby up while he's yakking. He's in the oh, back of my mom's oh. car yakking. I'm like, what the dude, is going on? Dude, it was it's so bad. It was so bad. Okay, so I went to school. Um, and I, my freshman year was 2015. So I get there that fall. I actually had a really good fall. But, you know, you're new and, you know, we're obviously not used to college. So I'm exhausted you're living with fucking dirt bags. Like the dorms were disgusting. So everybody always got sick. Okay. Yeah. So I had like a cold for like the last two weeks. It was miserable, dude. And then, you know, by the grace of God, those guys were in Buffalo. Like if they weren't in <laughs> Buffalo, I don't know what I would have done. Yeah. I really no, don't. Yeah. I have no idea. You yeah. know, that would have yeah. been, been bad because you would have been stuck at the game vomiting everywhere. And like, there's no place to like sit down there at all. No, like they, you have like a chair, maybe a chair, but like, there's yeah. no place you can like get comfortable. Yeah, no, that it would have been awful. And we we at Cuca because I that's where I went before Cas. I only went to Cas for two and a half years. I went yeah. to Cuca my freshman, and then the fall my sophomore year. So there we had to work the bills to go to Florida, which sucked. Yep. It was off. <laughs> but we we were three hours away from Buffalo. I mean, you guys, you roll down the street, hung over. It's ten minutes down the road. I mean, who cares? Like, <laughs> You're not, 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 not even ten minutes, dude. It's like under five. I yeah. could, so it, I could probably jog there under. Mm, you see. jogging? What? Don't do that. I'm a PO. <laughs> you right. wait a minute. You brought up my 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 puking story. I'm gonna come back at you. You can't do that. I to jog. Me. I jog. I jog. You puke. You jog. puke. <laughs> <laughs> you puke. <laughs> No, so they they fed us these terrible sandwiches, like JB said. And I got like a bad turkey sandwich, and it was dude, it was bad. Oh, it was geez. so bad. Threw up all over the seat in front of me, all over my pants. Oh, Ugh. Ugh, it was brutal, dude. And the yeah. like, the coach was so nice; he cleaned everything up, and I just like died in the parking lot. And then, <laughs> like. I'm like, I gotta get out of here. Like, I cannot stay. And I'm like, oh, thank God. Like, Aunt Kathy's here. Yeah. Paul Aunt <laughs> Kathy. She almost got arrested because she was fighting with a state trooper. But they wouldn't let her in, like, close to the stadium. So I had to walk like a mile to get to the car. Yeah. yeah she, dude, that was a rough was time. Like, My nephew's fucking puking. Yeah. No, I could see her just going bad shit. It, it, yeah. it must have been hysterical. When she. <laughs> uh... So, yeah, that's why I can't stand that city. Yes, I mean, like, I I definitely understand if, like, you did not have any affiliation to Buffalo and you had to come to Buffalo just to work the Bills games, I would hate Buffalo, too. I would definitely hate <laughs> Buffalo, too. <laughs> you know how ass they are, dude? The, so old, the only thing you come to Buffalo for is those Bills games. I understand. Yeah. I really Listen, understand. Like, I got no problem with working the games, like – if we like got the trip, we got the trip. No, no. If we got the trip and then we got like some gear and this and that. Like, bro, we get paid less than minimum wage. If you calculate it, yeah. Like well, we, we, get, yeah, we, we get can file for like, like we could sue them probably. 
Probably not because we signed, I don't want we we signed something that says we're allowed to be paid like six thousand. <laughs> And like I, we don't I, I read it. something that says that. No, I'm not signing it next year. <laughs> yeah, seriously, that's what I'm saying. That's what we have, we have to sign up that thing, and they're like electric electronically sign your name, and it's just like, wow. yeah, right. you will work as a peasant yeah. for <laughs> the duration of this year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, the bill and and how about this too? So my dad, his uncle, is a politician in Syracuse, and the year prior, so 2014 election cycle. He ran for statewide controller. So we were in Buffalo campaigning. And my dad <laughs> has this mascot, okay? He's got oh, this yeah. mascot. It's it's hysterical, okay? It's a big, like, bobblehead-looking thing of him. <laughs> so we're walking down the street by the stadium, and the cops are going down the sidewalk, you know, checking people for open containers. So we go, hey, you know, to these young kids, like, hey, you know, put those away. You're going to get a ticket. So the guy goes, it's my mother, my dad and I'm in the costume, so I'm in the big mascot. Oh, geez. And the guy goes, okay, no problem. And hucks his beer can, or beer bottle, I should say, the glass bottle, right at me in the mascot suit. Just chucks that. <laughs> <laughs> it bounces off the thing. It almost hits my mother. I, I'm telling you, like, you, if you think Aunt Kathy goes crazy if something happens to JB, no. My mother went ballistic. Went nuts. <laughs> like, got literally grabbed the, the police officer and said, You give that kid a ticket. Went nuts. That's so, right. Yeah. Your city just is just on through the beer bottle. Yeah. That's, that's funny. Hey, at least you guys got a good college. You know, you guys. Yeah. UB? No, you guys. Hilbert. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. Buffalo, technically. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. That's, well, you guys, that's you know, so even though we we lost to you guys somehow, because you no, know, Big Tony or whatever the hell his name was hit a nuke that still hasn't landed. Bro, oh Jimmy, you? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, I call bad. him, Big Tony, whatever the hell his name was. No, yeah, his name, yeah. Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah. yeah, I knew Jimmy had some power. I think I walked that kid three times. Bro, <laughs> yeah, that kid ain't stealing second. We can walk him. <laughs> anyway, no, he is not stealing second. I'll then the kid that. that comes in relief after me, I don't know what he threw him, but it wasn't it. It got hit a mile. <laughs> so, that's hilarious. And that's what I was talking about before you know we got into everything before the show kind of started. JB and I were supposed to pitch against each other last year. I know. That's that's a whole story. That's a whole story. And there was, it was just some nonsense, apparently. Right, JB? He don't want to talk about it. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. I don't need any more legal discussions coming up about that story. Let's, was, just, put the, let's just put it this way. A little professor didn't <laughs> agree with some of the priorities of other kids, took it out on the wrong kids, and backlash, and now he's tight. Um. <laughs> And I got taken out of baseball season for it. Um, yeah, that's about it. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. You, you literally did, actually, did not do a thing wrong. I did actually nothing wrong. Um, I actually missed classes because I had baseball games, which are excused. That's what I did. But yep. we're not going to – that's that's all. We're just going to leave it. <laughs> just gonna that's leave fine. It. That's leave fine. it at that. We're leave leave it, at it at that. that. Yeah. yeah, leave it at that. But the moral of the story is that would have been such a cool thing to have, you know, me on yeah. my senior day, oh, fishing as my family, cousin. Our whole family was supposed to go, Fitchery rearranged the rotation so I can pitch on that day. <laughs> it was like, I was like, listen, like, I get it. I'm supposed to pitch, like, the week before, but can I please pitch against Kaz? Like, well, he was like, yeah, like, no problem. Like, it's not a big deal. And I was like, thank you. Yeah. And I was so hyped. And then I got a call the night. I remember when I got the call. He call, Fitchy called me and was like, I, me and Crane were going to Taco Bell. I don't know why we're in there for a game day. Don't start. We were going to Taco Bell. <laughs> Probably just get Baja Blast, honestly. We're going to Taco Bell, and I get a phone call. It's like 8.30 at night. And he's like, hey, how you doing? And I'm like, what's wrong? Because Fitchy never says that. And I'm like, what's wrong? And he's like, uh... I, I don't I don't think you're gonna be able to come on with us tomorrow to cast. And I go, excuse me, come where? <laughs> what, what do you mean? What do you mean I'm not gonna be able to come? And he was like, 
the the vice provost said that uh, you're not eligible, that you have to go to class, and blah blah blah, because you miss you you miss too many classes. <laughs> when I tell you, I called my aunt after okay. those games. I had my cell phone out here. Oh, I could bro. still hear her clearly. You don't even, <laughs> no you speaker, don't, nothing. No, you don't understand, bro. Because when I went, this is the funniest part. <clears throat> I went to class when they went to CAS, and I'm pissed. I'm pissed. And I had the professor's class that kind of got this whole thing going. So I go in his class, I sit down. He walks in, looks at me, and he goes, Two days in a row? And I go, I would have, I would have, listen, listen. I said, I said, Listen, I was forced to be here. Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> I would I would have just gone nuts. Dude, I was so pissed, bro. I was so pissed. I was just like, this guy is such a he's just a great guy. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. Yeah, that was not Yeah, that was tough. But, but so we other than know. that, yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, man? That's it. Anything else? Anything else you want to talk about? Almost, I mean, we got a lot of shit covered. We talked about, you know, your background, what you do. Uh, everybody, remind to look look in the description. He's gonna have that uh, that the webcam, webcam the webcam thing. You said eleven thirty on what Friday? On this Friday, yep. Webinar. Um, this tune in. We're talking about uh, the new legislation that was passed. A lot of you guys, you don't have to worry about it. But you know, if your parents got any questions or you know older friends that you may have. It, it might affect them. So, you know, give them the link, have them tune in. Uh, you know, it shouldn't be more than half an hour, 45 minutes of myself and another one of the guys I work with just talking about everything in this stimulus package. Cause there's a lot. And, um, you know, we want to just bring that information to everybody and, and help people as best we can. Yeah. I think so awesome. it'll be good. It'll be good. And I hope you guys blow up on this podcast too. Thank I want to come back a year from now and be talking to, you know, like 3,000 people live or something. <laughs> Definitely. I, Welcome I to hope. Me. I hope. I hope. It was yeah. nice having you, Bobby. You know, yeah, just don't have JB stream any video games. <laughs> no, that's what you want me to do, bro. I'm a champ in Rocket League, man. Champ. I, I know. Okay, so I know we're, we're on the way out right now. But can, can I – why did they only remaster the campaign for MW2? Um, why? So, so this is this is the reason. This is the reason. I actually looked it up because I was upset too. So on the new Call of Duty, they have the maps that got they have the top maps of MW2 put in. Terminals in there. They got Rust in there. They yeah. got Shipment. They got Scrapyard. Um, they don't have High Rise, I don't think. I don't know, but they got a bunch of maps from MW2 that they put on the new Call of Duty. So they said, why make it a whole nother thing and have to do all that and blah, blah, blah when we just have those maps. So because I kind of wish they remastered the three two though, like like I wish they did the whole thing. Ah uh, yeah, I honestly that's wish what I'm saying. That I would log on and that thing is the gray background yeah, with, yep. the <laughs> with the M four A one classic sitting in class set yep. number. One. Like yeah. I want to, I want to go back and redo it because that's just fun, bro. <laughs> Dude, you, you, we talk we talk about you know the quarantine, like social distancing and everything. You wouldn't even have to pass legislation. You wouldn't. Well, no one would leave their house if MW2 got remastered. So the stock, the <laughs> stock market would fly just because of MW2. Yep. MW2 would provide enough money for every family and every home to make good income. <laughs> the, the virus would be gone like that, gone. Because Research. no one would leave their basement. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's funny. Uh, whatever. But no, I totally agree. I think they should have. I would have bought it. Oh, uh, yeah. Bought it. Yeah. I would have yeah, too. I God, too. I had like 30 plus nukes when I was like 12. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Bro. It was fun. I was like, God, man. Every time I get on, hey, Bob, did you get a nuke this game? Yeah, I got one. All right, drop it. I hate this map. That's what everybody would tell me. <laughs> I hate this map. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Bob, you got a nuke? All right, please end the game. I, I can't stand this map. Okay, yeah. no problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no. That's so, all right, boys. It was fun. You know, let's uh, let's all stay healthy and safe. Um, you know, I know this is a weekly thing for you boys, so I'll be tuning in, liking everything, uh, sharing it. as much as I can because this is this is awesome. You know, like I said, yeah. I hope you guys blow up. 
Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank Appreciate you for coming on. This is this is great. This is really good. Yeah, absolutely. Sure, Appreciate it. All right, guys, we just finished up our third podcast. Um, thank you so much to Bobby Antonacci, who is our special guest in this podcast. Um, we talked about everything from gambling to the NFL to some actually important and adult stuff like the stimulus package that's coming out. Um, stay tuned for our next podcast where we have another special guest coming towards you guys. And I'm not going to tell you who it is, but you'll want to hear it. So stay tuned. Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, social distance, don't touch people, do your part. Okay, guys, thank you again for watching. Seriously, it means a lot.